Okay, today I want to talk about chromosomes. A rooster has two sets of chromosomes, an X and a Y. I guess you can say a set, an X and a Y. A female only has an X chromosome. Okay, so how do you determine um, that an egg that uh, is being hatched will be a male? And how will you determine whether an egg uh, will produce a female? Okay, you can't tell by looking at the eggs. There's a lot of theory that um, people say the pointy eggs are males and the round eggs are females. Well, the bottom line is when a rooster tops a hen, okay, he'll send both of his chromosomes into the hen. Now, if the X chromosome in the rooster gets into the hen's X chromosome before the Y chromosome gets to the X in a hen, that will be a female. An X with an X produces a female, but if the Y gets to the X inside the female, then that produces a male. So when you have a rooster that is able to produce the Y a lot more than the X to the X in a hen, that'll determine whether the offspring will be males or females. So you need the Y to get to the X before the X of a male gets to the X of a female. So this is why uh, sometimes you'll have uh, hens that produce more males than females. It's not because of the hen. It's because of the rooster. The rooster is able to produce that Y a lot faster than the X. So when the Y gets to the X of a hen, before the X gets to the X, she will produce more male offspring. Actually, it's up to the rooster to produce that Y to the X before the X to the X. Okay, so when you find a rooster that can produce the Y, and how do you find that out? Well, by the hen. If the hen produces more stags than more bullets, then you know that that rooster that you have is producing the more Y chromosome to the X chromosome of a hen. I just wanted to share this with you all today. I hope somebody has learned from my YouTube videos on YouTube. I ask all you subscribers to share with your friends and have them subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once again, thank you all for following me on my YouTube channel. Y'all have a good day.